प्रवृत्तिम च निवृत्तिम च कार्य कार्य भया भये बंधम मोक्षम च या वेत्ति बुद्धि सा पार्थ सात्विकी हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी थर्टी श्लोक ऑफ द एटीन चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता एंड टुडे यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोवर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज प्रवृत्तिम च निवृत्तिम च विच मीन्स एंगेजमेंट एंड रेनन्सिएशन कार्य कार्य भया भये विच मीन्स इन एक्शन एंड इन एक्शन इन फियर एंड सेफ्टी बंधम मोक्षम चया वेत्ति विच मीन्स फॉर बॉन्डेज एंड लिबरेशन विच नोज बुद्धि सा पार्थ सात्विकी विच मीन्स दैट इंटेलेक्ट ओ पार्थ इज सात्विक सो विद रिगार्ड्स टू इंटेलेक्ट श्री कृष्ण फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब दी सात्विक इंटेलेक्ट and he mentions that the satvik intellect is that which knows that in action and in inaction what actually is engagement and what is renunciation what actually is there to fear and what not to fear and what leads to bondage and what leads to liberation so basically what shri krishna is saying that the intellect which is satvik has a very well understanding of what the effect of action and inaction can be now to understand uh, this idea we have to first understand what intellect is because many a times people don't even understand what intellect is so as an individual most people think that uh, we just exist at one level which is the level of our awareness whatever we are aware of that is the level at which we exist is what people think but you know this is not really true there are so many activities that are happening in our body which we are completely unaware of so as an example when a virus attacks our body then the white bloods in our body they fight against the uh, the germ which has attacked our body but we are completely unaware of that that how that is happening uh, then there is another level wherein we are aware of something in our body but we are not in control of it so for example uh, our heart beat we are aware of our heartbeat but uh, we are not in control of it and then there is another level which is the emotional level wherein uh, emotions arise in us there is emotional activity going on and while we are generating those emotions in us we are not completely in control of those emotions uh, there is some sort of an internal force which is propelling us in terms of those emotions so that is another level which is emotional level and then there is a even higher level than our emotional self which is our intellectual self which reasons with the emotional self in terms of trying to understand you know why am i getting emotional what is it that is going on which is making me emotional and we try to bring our emotional self in control of uh, our intellectual self so it is this intellectual self this higher self you know that is that is what shri krishna is talking about over here this intellectual self once it makes a resolution to do something then only one can start to make an effort to do that activity if this intellectual self in itself is not aware of uh, a resolution or it hasn't really made any resolution then no progress by an individual can be made in any any endeavor because the intellectual self is just not ready to do that if only your intellectual self decides that you know i am going to be disciplined i am going to not eat junk food then only that can happen if our intellectual self in itself says that you know i don't care i will eat junk food in itself then then the basically you will not be able to have the discipline or not be able to make any progress in terms of eating a good diet so in order to make spiritual progress also we have to have an intellectual self which is which is capable of making spiritual progress which has the correct knowledge in terms of how and when to act and on what to act and when not to act so the satvik intellect is the one which is well aware of what actions to perform so that one can attain liberation and what actions to fear so that one does not get enmeshed in this world so this satvik intellect is very important in terms of making spiritual progress and shri krishna is saying that this satvik intellect is the one which is well aware it is it knows how to act in the right manner and how to act in a wrong manner and then it basically avoids the wrong action and it does the right action 
so that it can make progress in terms of attaining spiritual liberation. So that was the message of this shlok. I hope that I have explained this shlok well to you. With that, I'll close this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.